I came to it very late on. Um, and it was when my friend was playing a Beethoven piano sonata and she was playing and I, I was just absolutely, you know, wow. She was amazing, the piano was brilliant, you know, everything about the instrument I just fell in love with. And that's when I decided that's what I wanted to do and I pretty much there and then decided I wanted to become a concert pianist. When I first started playing, because I enjoyed it so much, because obviously I came to it myself, I was practicing about three hours a day um, straight off. So within a couple of months I had quite hard pieces all ready learnt and I was, I was doing quite well with, with piano. And uh, it wasn't until it, I got a piano teacher and she, I played to her and then she suggested that I audition for a London music school and study with a, a concert pianist, which I did and, and subsequently got into the Junior Guildhall School of Music in London, where I was then studying with people who had been playing the piano from, you know, since birth almost. So that was very difficult and obviously with the repertoire itself, left hand repertoire, it's all difficult and I was having to play these difficult pieces, whereas other people would be starting off with a small Mozart sonata, something fairly simple and then getting harder and harder, whereas I didn't have that luxury, I had to go straight in. So I was really thrown in the deep end, but obviously with that I then increased my practice time and I was able to deliver what I was expected to deliver. My approach I always thank my parents for because they've always treated me absolutely, you know, I'm no different to anyone else. Yes, I have one hand, but apart from that, really, in the big scheme of things, that's nothing. You know, there's people who've got far worse situations than me. And also, they've always taught me that if I find something difficult to do, there's always a way around it. You know, I just have to think logically and think, oh, well, if I do it that way, I'll be able to do it. I don't even consider myself disabled. I never, even, I, you know, I sometimes forget that I have one hand. So if someone does make an issue of it or says, oh, how do you do that? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a good question, you know, because it's not obviously, it's not at the forefront of my mind all the time. Um, so I just think it's probably the determination that I've always had through life to do stuff has probably transpired into my piano playing and that's why I've managed to carry on as I am. I mean, my career has literally been a whirlwind from day one um, and it hasn't been easy. Of course, like with any artist, had my setbacks. You know, I've been turned down for auditions before. I've not won competitions. I've, you know, it, like every pianist, you know, you don't go and win every every single thing you do. However, I've been very fortunate as well, where I've been asked to do certain things and I've been asked to perform in certain places, and that has led on to bigger things. Some of my biggest highlights to, of my career to date is probably me performing at the Paralympic closing ceremony which was just amazing, you know, I would have never imagined as a classical pianist I would have been asked to do that, let alone perform alongside Coldplay, which as we know is such a huge band and very rare that you collaborate with a, a pop band like that. So not many pianists, classical pianists, get to perform to 86,000 people in a stadium and televised to half a billion people worldwide. So now that I've done that, you know, and I can tell my friends, tell my grandkids, when I'm, you know, all things like that, it, it's stuff which, which will really live on. It's always enjoyable to hear audiences' responses. As an artist, it kind of gives you that extra, you know, that extra energy to know that you've done something right. You know, if an audience member has come to you after a concert and said, you know, I really enjoyed it. But the responses that I do like to hear the most is when people come up to me and say, oh, I closed my eyes in, one, in your concert and I would never have known it was just one hand playing. And for me as a left hand performer, that is what I am aiming to do. I'm aiming to imitate two or three hands sometimes, but with just, just my left hand. Also, the response from disabled people as well that I get, which is very heart, you know, it touches my heart really because I mean, I've had some lovely emails from people who've said, I've seen you on this, I've seen you on that, and you've given me the strength to carry on because you've seen, you know, you've made a career out of your disability and, out, and you've carried on throughout everything. And I thought, for me, it wasn't possible. So now I know a couple of people have emailed me saying that I've inspired them to take up an instrument, which I think, you know, it's, it's wonderful. I can inspire anyone to do anything. That would be a great feeling. So, you know, it's really lovely for me to, to know that I am having an effect of some way.